What's up, YouTube? It's Wi-Fi Memory here today, bringing you guys some more singles action. Um, today we are looking at Jenny Quackle's um, singles team that she uh, formed a while back. Uh, she says she, this was mo mostly for her uh, Series 8 run. And um, she said, hey man, this team was pretty good. I didn't even have to use a um, restricted Pokemon. And I was like, really? She said, um, Torco with its iron defense could wall any Zacian. And it got me into Master Ball. So I was like, hey, if we can get you to Master Ball in Series 8 and you didn't even run a restricted Pokemon, I say, good job, good job. Um, but we're going to be giving a shot today. Hopefully, it can uh, help us out with our climb up on the singles rank ladder. But we are rocking out with a Guts Flame Orb Luxury. Um, pretty cool. Wild Charge Ice Fang Superpower. I didn't even realize it got Superpower. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to butcher this guy's name, but Dragnall or however you say that. <laughs> Acid Armor Toxic Venom Shop. And Dragon Post with the Black Sludge. Okay, so I don't know what the EV spreads are, but this one might be a pretty bulky set. I don't know, though. Um, Lantern, Rest, Stockpile, Soak, and Discharge. I like that. That's pretty sweet, actually. Um, well, here's the Torco with the Yawn, Burning Jealousy, Body Press, and Iron Defense. Pretty cool. Kabutops, uh, Focus Ash, Stone Edge, Lean Slime. Leech Life, Waterfall, and Swords Dance. And then, last but not least, probably the lead for most of our games will be Dracovish, Choice Scar, Fisher's Friend, Psychic Fane's Crunch, and Low Kick. Very cool team, Jenny. Um, let, me guys, let me know what you guys think about her team in the comments down below. If you guys want to try out this team, right here's the rental code. Um, everything else that you need to know... I will try and have in the descriptions but let's get everything started let's have some fun that's what this is all about is to have some fun so we'll have some fun we'll go on some ranked singles action rock it with Jenny's team um, so far Jenny we have uh, went 10 and 0 with our current squad so um, we'll have to see if your team can keep up with it with our uh, with our squad's performance um, but no pressure, no pressure at all, because uh, the first 10 battles, I probably went up against some of the not-so-hard opponents, I guess. Probably pretty easy opponents, so the chat, the competition is just probably just now about to start. But yeah, let's get our first opponent. Our first opponent will be some name, I don't know how to say, rank number 7. Alright, we have a Corsola, Togekiss, Snorlax, Toxapex. Chandelier and Mimikyu. I am butchering my words today, so um, <laughs> please bear with me. But what do we want to do? Like I said, I'm almost okay with leading Dracovish, but seeing that Mimikyu, I really don't want to just lead Dracovish. Let's actually lead Dragalge and then um, have Dracovish in the back because I, I do believe Dragovish at the end of the day can win this um really and truthfully Kabutops uh you don't have Earthquake you may not be able to get it in this gen I don't know I need something for that Toxapex in here I have Luxury up here so we'll just go with that I have a Lantern as well so <laughs> I had options. I do have options. Alright. Let's see. What is our opponent going to want to be leading? We'll see here in just a second. Is Mimikyu. Okay, that's fantastic. I didn't lead um, Dracovish. Because I'd much rather see Mimikyu here. Um... Yeah, it's just an easy Venom Shock, right? Break the Disguise as of right now. Yeah, you, you switch. That's 
fantastic actually go ahead go into that Snorlax and we'll get some nice little Venom Shock off hey that's decent chip that is decent chip so don't don't knock on that chip we'll go ahead and Toxic as our opponent goes ahead and sets up a belly drum big belly drum kind of kind of scary kind of scary not gonna lie but we should be ah oh, it's got immunity Ooh, that's tough. Um, thing is, can Max Wormwind knock out that Snorlax? We know that won't. Let's go for it. Let's go for Max Wormwind. We only we can only know. I mean, it's gonna. The Snorlax is showing me that's a very offensive Snorlax. So if we can outspeed it. And get a max worm one off, we might be in our right spot. Note that I did not see a berry on the Snorlax. Actually, if with it having the immunity ability, it didn't have gluttony. So if it does have the uh, Papa Berry or something, and it outspeeds. Oh no. That's a speedy Snorlax, apparently. Okay, that's that's fun. Let's go into Dragovish. Okay. Like, I mean, are you just going to keep Snorlax in or are you um, going to switch him out? You're Dynamaxing. I want to honestly say with our Vicious Ren that we just KO it though, right? That's not an easy say though. That is not very easy at all to say because we don't know the build of the Snorlax. I can't believe we just lost Dreadnaw. Not Dreadnaw. Drowgy. That easy. Come on. Thank you. At least we wasted his Dynamax as well. <sighs> okay, we're still in this. We're still in this. Okay, so. Uh, they're probably about to bring up Mimikyu. And Mimikyu can either go for Trick Room or it can go for a Sword Stance here. Because they, they know that Dracovish is about to switch out, right? So I think what we have to do is actually stay in. I mean, we have Luxury. Luxury can handle it, right? We'll just break the disguise. Uh, he could go for Play Rough and just KO us, but... I don't think he can. I don't know if Playlift will just fully KO us, though. Um, only time for Trick Room. Now, do we go into Luxray? I think we just sacked Dracovish, as weird as that sounds, right? Thunder Wave, why? I mean, do counter productive in that scenario because you're just gonna well, okay we get a crit but you slowed my Dracovish down yes there's a chance I can get paralyzed like but really and truthfully all you did was slow me down after you set in a trick room so thanks I guess <laughs> um, I see Cursula let's go into Luxury Because it doesn't hurt Dracovish to switch out here and let's stall out a little bit of um we'll stall out a little bit of this trick room and then we'll come in with Dracovish and be able to vicious run but I do feel like we get this win from this point Luxray you're sitting out of minus one attack with a guts boost that's fine um we can go for the ice vein and try and get the freeze. I don't necessarily think it fully matters though. Yeah, you can go for Hex. How much damage? That's not much damage. All we're wanting to do is try and style it your Trick Room, your Curse Body, and my Ice Fang. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. How many more turns of Trick Room you got? You got one more turn. A Wild Charge. And you're just going to go for Hex again. And that actually works out fantastic. 
We sack Luxray off. And uh, we get Dracovish in in a non-trick uh, room environment. And we should be able to go for a Vicious Rin to pick up the KO. If I can select the right buttons. <laughs> uh, we are paralyzed. Keep that in mind. But at the same time, I still believe we outspeed the Cursula. But that's the only problem. And now he's got Strength Sap too. Oh man. I mean, this could just be a big recovery for this. I mean, he can just keep spamming that too. We sh we needed a hit right there. That's the problem. We can still crit to win though, right? You're just gonna keep strength sapping. Hey, we're in for the long haul, guys. I guess we'll just have to see. I mean, eventually his recovery will get less and less, but our damage output will be less and less as well. Alright, we'll see. Let's get that lucky crit, please. As you can see, we are doing less damage. I mean, he's slowly just taking our, um, our strength away, as you could say, you know what I mean? <laughs> But you're opening yourself up for a potential crit. We already crit Vicious, vicious Ren once. That could have been my crit Vicious Ren though. That paralyzes is really helping our opponent out. But And then just the Hex on top of that. I think our opponent did play a well play game. I do think our opponent did just play a very well play game. Because, I mean, there's not much we can do. And they're able to get more damage out than what we can. So... Good game to our opponent. Sadly, um, we do take a nail in the first game with uh, Jenny's team, but I think a lot of it is due to us needing to learn certain components a little bit better. Uh, I was not expecting the Snorlax to be immunity, and that's just something I think um, might be a little different in VGC. Well, then again, maybe immunity was just the one-time thing you just I mean I don't know yet but either way we didn't get the win that's the biggest thing but you know what they say you take a uh, one step back to go two steps forward and I think we definitely can do that with this loss we're able to take a few we can um we can take a few steps forward and we will we'll uh Hopefully we'll be able to pick up the next two games at least. And then from there we can see what we need to do to adjust. Alright. Grimmsnarl, Swoobat, Gaily, Thunderous, Mimikyu, and Clefable. Okay, okay. Let's see. Definitely don't mind the Dracovish, right? Jenny, if you're watching this too... um. Let me know what Pokemons you would uh, bring in each match. You know, like how would you lead and how those scenarios, how you could actually maybe potentially get those wins playing your style. And then that way I can learn and adapt that into my play style. Or if you're in the comment section, you know, the viewer, you're watching this and you're like, hey, maybe try this. Okay, I will. I mean, I have no, I don't have any big way of knowing what will work until I just do it. But we'll go Dracovish Kabutops. And why not? Why not? We'll go with our Poison Dragon guy as well. Because I just think he uh, has some great coverage. It maybe help us with the Kofable matchup. You know, having the Toxic and everything. I mean, it didn't work out last time. It should work out this time, though, because I don't see him having any way to stopping it. I should have seen the Snorlax having immunity, but I didn't. But that's okay. We'll go with our uh, Dracovish versus Grimmsnarl. I really want to see how much a Vicious Rune just does. From last time I checked, I mean, he could set up a Reflect, but I don't know if that's so big in singles. And there it is. That's fine though. We should be able to t still two shot you. So that's all good in our. S Holy cow, that's so bulky. 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> wow, this is not like a VGC. Grumps now usually takes a lot, a lot more damage than that, even through reflect. But okay, there's a light screen. Okay, you can have it. We'll go into your gouge or tandrak. I don't even know how to say that either. But we'll go ahead and get our toxic off. And uh, start trying to toxic start as a uh, Grim Snarl, maybe, you know? Because, I mean, this thing's obviously kind of bulky, kind of scary. We'll be eating up a spirit break. Uh, we actually take that halfway decent, though, so that's good. It is neutral, actually. So, that's nice. That's, that will be nice. Okay. So now, I think we need to go for the acid armor, right? Um, yeah, it raises our defense, actually, so that would be very useful, right? Let's go for it. Oh, okay, so you're just going to go ahead and taunt me? I mean, that's probably a smart play. That is the smart play. But you are still getting uh, toxic stalled. Uh, screens are being stalled out a little bit as well, so that's I'm okay with taking our time with the spore positioning. Um, yeah, we'll just go for Venom Shock. Go ahead, get some extra damage out. I mean, if he wants to switch, he can switch at any time. It doesn't look like he wants to though, because eventually he will take out our Dragalgy. But at that point, um, hopefully, we stalled out some of his um, screens and stuff and we can go from there. Looks like I have one more toxic taking his um, room snarls out. Do we have any switching? Not really. Um, let's just go, f oh yeah we can't go for toxic. I was about to say let's just go for toxic in case he's going to switch but we can't. We've been taunted. But Spirit Break comes out. It shouldn't KO. Yeah, we still got 21. And after Black Sludge recovery, we should be... Uh, we should be okay trying to go for another Toxic. I think that was probably the last turn of time, right? Or is there one more? Shook off the time. Okay, we might be alright to go for a Toxic. We'll see. That would be fantastic if we can go for a Toxic, actually into a slew bat of all things we are minus three on our special attack okay this is probably a simple slew bat so when he goes for like max airstream and stuff like that he's gonna get like a plus two in his speed but that's also the same for drops and stuff as well though if he um, gets like a minus supposed to be a minus one defense it's gonna be a minus two so I mean it can go both ways for him. But this would be this is pretty cool. Max Airstream, there it is. Sadly though, I think that makes it to where he outspeeds Dracovish with the uh, choice scarf, so that makes things a little bit tougher. If you hit us, I think it has to be a physical attack to give us a plus two speed. A little bit unfortunate there. I do think that's still the right one to bring out. Kabutops. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and Dynamax, right? It could be weakness policy. So what we need to do is uh, max guard this turn. Next turn, we need to go for like a Max Geyser. He undynamaxes. Um, and then we can go from there, see what happens. Yeah, but right now we just need to waste some Dynamax turns. See if we can get Kabutops and Dracovish in a great endgame. 
And I think as soon as we get rid of this sweep out, we will be heals for max steel spike. That's actually kind of scary. Okay, that's actually really, really scary. And go for Max Flutterby to lower his special attack by two as well could be really nice. Oh, that did nothing. Why did that do so little? It's a physical. You're a physical swoo bat with Max Airstream. Um. Okay. I ain't activating that weakness policy though, I'll tell you that. Until you on Dynamax. And there's the light screen and the reflect was gone after last turn. So okay. We're in a decent spot. Can we go for a max rockfall? And get the KO. Let's find out. Let's find out. If not, I think we're still in a decent spot. He goes for a baton pass. Okay. Um, who are you switching in, Chief? Because we might be doing a lot of damage. I know you get that plus two on your defense, though. So, Gailey. This could be really good, though, because this is nice chip. This will be fantastic chip. Ooh, that's, that's fantastic chip right there, ladies and gentlemen. Kabutops putting in some singles work. All right, let's see what he got, Gailey. I think that's leftovers. And you get the Moody ability, and you get a defense raise. Special defense does fall, but that don't help me much. We are plus two speed. What's this, Gailey? He's also plus two speed. So we should, which I don't know... I don't know my um, speed turning all that well. I don't know if Gailey or Kabutops is faster, but we'll definitely see. He goes for Protect, trying to get another Moody boost, but I can also bite you in the butt, Chief. I mean, uh, he's not worried about the Buffet, but he's got to have to worry about um, the boost that you get in the drop. Because you boost one, but you also drop one. Special Attack Raise. Defense fell. Makes me want to go for Waterfall now. High crit chance as well with Waterfall, which Stone Edge has a high crit chance, but Stone Edge can miss. Um, knowing that you're only at like plus two defense, I feel a little safer. I don't know much if it's much safer. And he is faster. A little unfortunate. Oh, but he didn't do like no damage. Okay, fantastic there. We don't get the KO, but I think the Sam will. Gailey's down. Gailey's down. His sweeper's done. We won, basically. I mean, he's got the Swoobat. But Swoobat, and he's not going to be able to Dynamax. I think we're in, I think we're in a winning spot. Um, yeah, let's just go for Leech Life. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Getting some nice recovery and kind of pinning our opponent, I think, is the best way to go. Hey, fantastic. That's a lot of damage. That's a crit, though. Okay. Now we can just finish him off with the uh, waterfall. He has air slash. What's your, what's your max steel spike coming off of? The, could he get steel wing? Because that has to be what's coming off of. Either way. My opponent had me for a scare there for a little bit, but I think we were able to come back and just um, let everything kind of work itself out with Kabutops. Kabutops was fantastic in that game. Alright, so we'll get one more game in. Ah, uh, probably won't let us look at their team. Okay, yeah, we'll get one more game in. Hopefully we can jump up to a great ball. Eight by the end of the next game. We'll find out. If we win, we'll definitely check it beforehand. But if we don't, we know that we don't need to be checking it. But yeah, let's see what our next opponent has. 
It is you from rank 7, rocking out with Magnus on Garchomp, Togekiss, Hippowdon, PZ, and Gallade. Alright, our opponent is definitely going for more of an offensive route. We can definitely go offensive as well, my friend. I'm just checking to see if you have a dragon attack at. You don't. Okay, um... Hmm. I'm trying to think what we need to do. Um, because we got several lead options that could be actually really, really good for us. I'm going to try Kabutops. We're going to try and get a Kabutops sweep. Don't know how how often that will be. I don't know how viable that is or whatever, but we're gonna try it. Definitely start off with Swords Dance and then try and just see what we can do from there. Um, only problem is I'm a little bit afraid of the Guard Chomp. We could go that route. We're running out of time, so might as well go the Lantern route. And we can soak and discharge. I don't see a problem with that. I mean, that's actually a pretty cool attack to turn something that's very threatening to you and you soak it and then just say, okay, you're not the problem no more. Anyway. Togekiss. Okay. Don't necessarily know if that's the Pokemon that we want to see because... Really, just depending on Togekiss, his speed could be uh, faster than our Kabutops, and then if we go for Sword Stance, we just waste a Pokemon. So, I think right now we have to go for Stone Edge because of that weird speed tearing. Kabutops does outspeed, and we almost get the KO, but we activate a uh, berry from the Togekiss. Landsack Berry and it gets a light screen up? I don't know about that one, Chief. Let's go ahead and get that waterfall off. I guess we outspeed it pretty nice. I don't know the speed tearing at Kabutops all that well. I mean, if I had to guess, I would want to say about 85. I know it can get Swiss Swim, but I really don't know the speed tearing. I should, but I don't play with Kabutops all that much. I should. I, I wish I could. I, mean, I might once I VGC, once I start playing VGC again, but hey, he's he's faster than that Togekiss either way. That's good. Let's go ahead and set up a sword stance now. Um, he could go for an... If he's going to go for an attack, he's just going to be a physical attack from a Hippowdon, right? He actually goes for Yawn. That's fine, though. Like, I'm fine. Like, are you... Why are you can you... I, I know his Protect's not huge in this format, so let's go for a waterfall. You don't have, you didn't protect. Did we just get the KO? Ooh, that's huge. Kabutops is actually, I'm actually kind of liking Kabutops. This is actually kind of cool. All right, Kabutops is asleep, fast asleep, but he got two KOs basically. And now here's the guard chomp. We got focus slash still intact. And we have Lantern and Dracovish in the back. I think we're okay. I'm just going to go for a Waterfall. And he actually sets up his own Swords now. So he's trying to reverse sweep us right now. Um, a little bit unfortunate for us, I guess, that he does outspeed us. And we know he's about to Dynamax. Um, do we want to try and Dynamax to outpace his Dynamax because it could bite us in the butt if but we know he's going to let's go for Max guys so we'll try and wake up he doesn't Dynamax because he was faster and now we're Dynamaxing so we're really hoping on this wake up I feel like if we wake up and hit him with our uh, Max Geyser, we just win, right? 
Because he ain't dynamaxing. Or worse, speed time, one or the other. He just goes for Earthquake. Knocks us down to our Focus Sash. Come on. You gotta wake up here. You got to wake up here. Right? Come on. <gasps> we woke up. Dynamaxing a sleeping Pokemon to win the game. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it here first. Wi-Fi Merriman showing off the cool tactics. Anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. If you are new, this is a Wi-Fi Merriman signing out. Peace.